Hello everyone, uh, I'm Alin Zola from Analog Dot Studio in the studio. This is probably the most famous Polaroid camera. Iconic, some, pe some people might say. This was made famous by Andy Warhol, who shot many portraits of many celebrities using Polaroid pack film. And this is a fixed focus rangefinder that also has a flash. It's for indoor use mostly. And the flash you operate using these magic cubes. There are four shots per magic cube. Neither pack film or magic cubes are made anymore, sadly. But these are still amazing cameras. They have a one a single speed mechanical shutter and they operate at a fixed distance of about one meter from the lens. They have an adjustable aperture to darken light on and it goes from about f26 to f29 to f22, that's about it. And that, um, can you use this anymore with the pack film? Well, I mean, you can if you have money for pack film. And now I have decided to modify one of these into a super big shot. These super big shots use available Polaroid film made by the Polaroid Corporation. Photos come out like that. And I also added a sync port to operate a modern flash. So we don't have to use magic cubes anymore. And this particular machine has a battery operated Polaroid support. So this only ejects the photos and processes them. And the batteries are housed under this cover. It also has a very gimmicky manual frame cutter. And you turn this on and you take a photo and then you eject each frame by using this button. So let's take a photo. Remember, this is a flash camera. It doesn't work very well without the flash. It works outdoor without the flash. You don't need the flash outdoors. Uh, but indoors, you're going to have to use the flash. And outdoors only when it's sunny. Otherwise, the pictures come out underexposed if you don't use the flash. So, let's turn the flash on. And these are all flashes. Take a few seconds to load up. Here's the sun. Mm. It's probably fun the first time. And once the light is on, you're ready to take a photo. How do you take a photo of this? You look through this, and then you're gonna see a, a yellow rangefinder patch. And if you're not at the right distance, it's gonna show two vertically displaced images. You cannot move back and forth till they are, um, they, they, they overlap. And now, because the focal plane of this camera is a little further out compared to the original focal plane, uh, we move a little bit, like a few inches, two inches is enough. And this is a short, short focus on only images. And then we frame, Remember that this is not a 3x4 film anymore, so the image is going to be right in the center of the rectangle. So we frame according to that. Let me focus about here a few inches. Frame, put the subject in the middle or wherever you want, and then shoot. Done. So now we have exposed the frame. We, we need to process it. Turn the back on, on button, press the eject button. This was, this camera has already been made, it's already been sold to a friend in your city. It's been personalized. All these you need to be, have a personalized name tag if you wish. And uh, let's wait for the film to develop. Let's wait for a bit. And, uh, this doesn't have a dark side, it doesn't need one. The back is permanently attached. You can only shoot polarity with it. 
and this is pretty sensitive so make sure you turn it off after use and also turn the flash off after use you can take the flash off and use any flash you want this the guide number for this flash just so you know it's about 60 at one, 100 100 exo so whatever flash you get make sure it matches that and it turns out that this is a good combination for ISO 600, 640 film, which is I-Type or Type 600. This is the film I recommend for this unit. Without any adjustment in aperture, so like smack in the middle and the pictures come out fine. Let's see what happens here. Expose, and it's just coming out slowly. This is color film, it's gonna take a while to it's exposed. This is the picture I took previously of the phone taking this video. So, let's see. Mm. All right, it's slowly coming up. You can kind of see the phone here slowly developing. Just gonna leave it for a few more seconds. I don't really want to do a time lapse for this set. So, once you're done with this, you can turn the flash off. You can turn the back off and you're good to go. This doesn't trigger very easily. And make sure you put this in protected from um, jolting when you, when you transport it. This is still plastic, it may break and don't drop it. If this breaks, uh, I can't really fix it. I'm gonna have to make another one. All right, so there you go. Image is coming out, flashing works very well. Right, so I'm gonna make four units and put it in the candy store and I'm basically taking pre-orders. So it would probably take me about a month to get this out, about all of them at the same time. So if you want one now, go in the candy store on my website, Analog Studio, and um, be one of the four people to get their hands on one of these amazing machines. Again, as I said, this already sold. Bye.